All right, lads, how you doing? Welcome back to Baggy TV. Welcome back to my channel. Lads, in this video, I'm going to be talking about two topics. I'm going to be talking about the preview for our match against Burnley in the, uh, in the Premier League. And I'm also going to recap a little bit on the match against Krasnodar in the Champions League, which I did not make uh, any uploads for. And I apologize because I was a little bit busy. No preview, no review. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that game before I get into my preview for Chelsea against Burnley. And last, before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you to do me a favor. Subscribe to my channel and turn that bell notification button on. Like, comment and share my video. I'd really appreciate that. Now let's get into the video. Okay, lads, so the match against Krasnodar was a 4-0 victory for Chelsea, which puts us top of the group. That being said, the match wasn't quite as flattering as the scoreline would suggest. Reason being is, the first half was really, really cagey. We didn't really do much in that first half. However, we did turn things around and we did win that match. Now, I'm not going to go into details regarding that match because a lot of YouTubers have done that. There's been a lot of videos made about that. Just one thing that sticks out in that match. One thing that sticks out like a sore thumb. And to be honest, a lot of people were talking about it like it's a, it's a new thing. The 4-3-3 uh, setup. The 4-3-3 setup, lads, is something that we've been doing for ages. We did it last season. Now, Granted, Frank Lampard likes the 4-2-3-1 formation and it's the formation that he used in Derby, but he wasn't able to employ that formation last season. This season, he was able to employ it because of the, uh, the, the new guys that we brought in, the new players that we brought in. So he started doing that more regularly. However, going back to the 4-3-3 formation did work, especially against this type of opposition. Lads, having two number eights and a holding midfield that gives us more options in attack. And we saw that in that game. Now, Hakim Ziyech had a blinder. Other players played really well. Not going to go into details for that match, but I want to say congratulations to Frank Lampard and well done to Lampard for recognizing the issue that he had and having the balls to change things around and change the formation, change the setup and addressing it. I want to see Lampard do more of that in the future. Whenever you see something not working, do something about it and do it quickly. Don't waste time. Now, let's talk about Chelsea against Burnley. Lads, this is going to be a very interesting game. Burnley are having a toy time at the moment. Chelsea are in an uh, unbeaten streak at the moment. Burnley is the kind of game that normally we slip up on. Burnley is a banana skin game, normally. However, however, I don't think Chelsea today are the same as Chelsea of last season. Chelsea of today do seem to have the desire and the, uh, the, the, the ability to close games off and also to come back if they're behind. And we've seen that. We've seen that with these guys. I'm confident that we'll get a decent result against Burnley. And I'll go further. I will say we will beat Burnley. We will get the three points against Burnley. Anything short of that will be a big disappointment. Now, the formation that we're going to play, play with... Laz, I'm not going to give you graphics because I think the um, the formation we're going to play with is either the 4-2-3-1 or the 4-3-3 uh, formation. Personally, I would like to go with the 4-3-3 formation and you know give mounts and have uh, another crack at the game from the beginning. Um, why not? Why not? It could be it could be the, the way forward this season. You know, you uh, you try out new things and you see if they work. It worked against Krasnodar. Will it work against Burnley? Possibly. Possibly. We'll find out if we try. So, I'm, uh, I'm anticipating a 4-3-3 uh, formation and I'm hoping, I'm expecting Hakim Ziyech to start. Now, Pulisic or Callum hassan depending on the fitness levels because Lampard in his press conference said the lads are still tired and you know we'll have to wait and see how, uh, how, how they're doing training and, and whatnot. So, depending on who's fit, injuries-wise, we're good. Injuries wise were good. Fitness is where the, is where we might have issue, you know, being tired, being you know able to start. So uh, maybe Pulisic and Hakim or Callum and Hakim, but I definitely want to see Hakim, Zayash, 
Hakim Ziyech take the pitch against Burnley. Now, up front, I want to see Timo Werner start again. Timo Werner is the key for us. And um, I really want to see how this relationship is going to develop between Hakim Ziyech and Timo Werner uh, in attack. Naturally, Kai Havertz will be an important component in that system. That's the way I see us playing against Burnley. Lads, I'm going to give you a score prediction. I'm hesitant to do it because every time I do it, we don't achieve the score prediction and we lose. So should I do a score prediction or not? You know what? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to give you a score prediction. I'm just going to say we're going to win. So that is it for this video, lads. I will give you my match reaction, my match review once we beat Burnley. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Give me a like if you're not wearing a cap. I'm not wearing my baseball cap. Give me a like below. Comment and share my video. And lads, if you haven't subscribed already, do us a solid. Hit that subscribe button and turn that bell notification button on. I'd really appreciate your support and your assistance. Have a great day. Stay safe and I'll catch you in my next upload. Peace out.